Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli Sims from Checkit.com here with a tips and tricks slash Sony Vegas tutorial. Uh, it's basically mixing, finding, locating, and utilizing very high quality royalty free music. Uh, everyone's been asking where Ch -Ch Check It gets its music and stuff like that. And uh, they're like, I keep getting copyright strikes. Well, I'm going to teach you guys where to find royalty free music and how to not get those copyright strikes. But before we move on, how about you guys leave a like because a like helps out our video so much more than you guys know. And also don't forget to leave a comment because a comment helps out a lot too, but you might have a chance to make it to the end of my videos because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. So pretty awesome. You guys might get on one of my videos. And uh, yeah, with that, now we can get started. So first off, I'm going to teach you guys a few different ways to find free music. The first way is just off your YouTube account in general. So uh, if you go up to the top right corner, you find your account, you can go to the Creator Studio. You have to click that button right there. And then you go down to the left and you'll see Create here. Now when you click Create, you'll go to the Audio Library and you'll load up a ton of different music all different types of genres everything like that you can uh, scroll down and you know really pinpoint what you want uh, and you can also just click download and it's free and YouTube will never ever copyright any of the music that you use here so uh, yeah and it actually goes by popularity so uh, this is a very powerful tool it's awesome YouTube did this and it's, and if you guys keep getting copyright strikes this is probably the best way to avoid it. Very high quality, free, amazing, highly recommend it, and you don't have to put anything in the in the description. So that's actually the next method I'm going to be teaching you guys is a different way. If you type in no copyright sounds into YouTube, you'll find this channel right here. So if we click on no copyright sounds, you'll see we load up these YouTube videos. I'm actually going to pause it so I don't have to put this song in my description. <laughs> Let's just click on any random video right here. And they upload stuff all the time, you guys. I highly recommend this method if you guys haven't tried it yet. So basically how it works is you go to the description and you can click on the link to download it. Uh, there's many different methods. Some of them are as easy as you click and it'll go to Mediafire and automatically download. Some of them you have to go like their page and then download it. But either way, you follow the free download link then once you you have it in uh, your possession you uh, put it in your video and everything like that you upload your video but then you have to include everything that is right here so just control or command C and then control or command V into the description of your video and it will avoid copyright and even if YouTube claims copyright against you you can say hey I have the rights to use it link them to this video and they will remove that strike and uh, let you use whatever song it is 100% of the time because it is all free and royalty free so pretty amazing this is the method I always use I love no copyright sounds but the problem with them is they have great intro music and stuff like that but if you have a lot of videos where you're just talking like a tutorial they're not the best to go through I love going to bye bye copyright so how you get to them is you just type in bye bye copyright it's the same exact method as you saw before but they don't even upload at all anymore. They uh, they have very high quality music, you know, but they don't upload anymore. Or if they do, it's very seldom. However, however, none of their music or very limited amount has vocals in the background. So they have great music for uh, things like tutorials or videos where you're like vlogging and stuff like that because they don't have singers over their music. So let's just go to Stan B here. It's the same exact method. But they actually tell you that if you want to use this song in any of your videos, you must post the following. So all you do is you just copy what they put underneath that. You go Commander Control C, then Commander Control V, and uh, just so you see, I copied. Here's a paste, boom. Um, but <laughs> that's I don't want that to go on our Google Plus, so I'm just gonna boom. Okay, so uh, anyway, same method. You have to include that in the description, but it is copyright free and amazing you can use it in any videos any intros just make sure you put this little tiny two lines of uh, information in and you will not get copyrighted it's amazing the last place that I like to get music is uh, my favorite as well I've had the best luck with the, this person right here this is actually an artist himself K391 and he has a ton of great music I put K391 behind my twitch videos I put it behind 
uh, tutorials. I'm actually going to be putting it behind our tutorials right now. So if you're you're listening, you're listening to K391. And it, he's just amazing. He has his own non-disclosure agreement. Uh, and I'll show you right now. So you go to Facebook right here. You click the Facebook. And you have to like his page, of course, to get to his download section. But you go to more. Then you go to free downloads. And if you like his page, you can take a look at all of these different songs. It's ridiculous. Look how small the scroll wheel is over here. Look at all the songs you can use. It is ridiculous, you guys. And they're all super high quality and amazing. And all you have to do to use any of his music, you have to click this right here. Oh, it looks like he needs to buy more space for this or whatever, but uh, he'll probably have that back up in a little bit. Basically, the agreement says you need to post three things you need to post his I'll, I'll just go to uh, one of our YouTube videos just so I can show you guys quick you need to put these three right here I'll put this in the description you guys can actually see it in the description if you guys start using his music just hit controller command C controller command V in your description just like I did and you will not get copyrighted you need his YouTube channel his Facebook and his SoundCloud link then you can use all of his music for free. It is super amazing. And then like I said before, I used a no copyright sounds song for the intro because they have great songs with vocals over them and those tend to make great intro music and stuff like that. So anyway, that's the basics of how I find the music. And uh, once you put your YouTube channel in here, I don't think you actually have to sign this non-disclosure agreement as long as you uh, paste his stuff in your description, that, that should be enough. But this should be back up, and as soon as it is, make sure that you guys follow this link. I'll put this link in the description. Maybe he'll have it back up by today. But uh, just the most important part is always put whoever's uh, music you're using down here. That's what makes it royalty-free, as long as you give them a shout-out. All right, so the last thing I'm going to show you guys is mixing the music, because a ton of people make the mistake of just putting music in the background, and it sounds horrible. You can't hear the vocals and uh, or, or you can't hear what, what people are even saying or it's too distracting so uh, I have a method of going about this so I'm just gonna oh sorry it's on my second monitor over here okay so here's just one of my vlogs no music in the uh -oh. background it's nice and boring right now I'll just play a little bit of it for you real quick uh oh there he is what you doing bro what you doing oh he caught me slipping <laughs> You caught me cuddling with my girl Margarita, aka Martini, <laughs> aka Maria. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of boring. Oh crap! On, let me let me exit out of Facebook because a lot of people like to message me on there. Okay, anyway, if I go over to my copyright free music folder over here, I've collected a ton of music over the years, guys. But uh, let's just pick some random song, um, whatever. K three nine one. This is Felicitius. I I don't know what that says. Anyway. <laughs> Now, here's what people do. They usually just drag and drop it on top of the video. And just listen to this. You can't even hear what it's saying. You can't even see what I'm saying here. So, what I like to do is, I like to drop it down to negative 29 decibels and that's just a general rule of thumb because most of the music that uh, people give away is already pre-mixed and mastered which means it is as loud as it can get and uh, some people don't even know how to mix and master a song so it could be blowing out people's speakers look at that with both of those I was clipping out at 4.1 decibels that's insane that could blow speakers easily so uh, anyway now let's take a listen to that same thing that we just listened to actually where is it we, we were listening to like right around here let's go ooh, ooh, ooh. You, you sound like a choo -choo train. okay so now all the vocals are eligible we're not clipping we're right underneath where it's clipping it's beautiful and the music is in the background but it's not overpowering the vocals it's or like what's going on I, I call these the vocals but really it's just what's going on in the video so a really really good general rule of thumb is negative 29 decibels and uh, that will just keep everything from peaking and everything like that so good mixing technique and uh, with that guys I mean I don't know really what else to to show you because I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how to find and utilize some copyright free music because so many people wanted me to teach you guys that. But anyway, I hope you guys learned something. And if there, if you have any questions, leave it in the dis in the description in the comments below. 
and I will definitely answer you. And I'm so glad to be making a tutorial again, guys. It's been so long. I've been trying to make tutorials for the past two or three weeks, and I keep messing up. Like, I cannot focus. But now that I have one tutorial under my belt that I didn't mess up on, I went through it nice and quick, everything was le legible and everything like that, I can finally start getting back into making tutorials. Like, I don't know if uh, anyone else makes videos a lot and they just get into a slump. It sucks, but now I'm out of that rut and I'm ready to start uploading tutorials again. I'm so excited. I'm also going to start live streaming uh, my editing processes and stuff like that. So make sure you follow our Twitter and I'll tell you guys when I'm going to live stream, uh, you know, when I edit videos and stuff like that. Maybe some of my vlogs will be up and yeah, it's just going to be awesome. I'm, I'm super excited for the future, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something. I'll be uh, live streaming at, right after this tutorial is up on my twitch.tv slash lmgood. Link in the description if you guys want to go hang out with me and you know talk to me and stuff like that. We can hang out. So anyway, guys, uh, with that, I will see you guys on the next tutorial. Peace. <laughs>